Do you know what the best comment of 2018 was? No, what was it? This is awesome. This woman is gorgeous and the gay guy is hilarious. <laughs> that made me LOL, like in real life. <laughs> It is how many days until the end of the year? Just a couple. I don't even know what day it is. All my days are running into each other now mm. that the kids are home. The tree. Well, putting up the tree, I think I got it up like, I don't know, 21st? <laughs> it's yeah, terrible. I know it's going to be like horrific <laughs> to many of you out there that get it done. Like, You know what? It's staying up till December. February. That's what. <laughs> well, the reason why I put it up so late well, not that late, is because our son's birthday is in December. So I try to make sure that his birthday is just a normal birthday without Christmas stuff all around. And as soon as his birthday is done, I try to get the tree up. But this year, it was just a lot of time passed by before I actually got the tree up. This past year has brought us a lot of firsts. A lot of changes. A lot of surprises and a uh, confirmation. Yeah. So this year we launched our first cookbook, which was amazing in itself. <laughs> okay, dude has been after me to write a cookbook for I a, long know, time. a long time, a long time before I actually sat down and compiled my recipes. And um, we fought a lot about it because I didn't really want to, to do it. And, um, but, you know, people were constantly asking me for the recipes and I just, I don't know. Eventually I came around and I started writing the recipes out and we put together this cookbook that we self-published and it's, had such great uh, response to it. So he just shakes his head and face palms me about that. And it's usually because he comes up with these grand ideas that he wants me to execute, which... Because I, it's her channel and platform, <laughs> just newsflash. So the fact that there is even a cookbook that was released by the grace of God that mm -hmm. it exists. Yep, yeah, truly. And, <laughs> and you guys for confirming that it was the project to do mm -hmm. and your support and your, your continued purchases of the cookbook helps us to keep this whole thing going, which is mm -hmm. a part of the whole mix. Amazing. Yes, truly amazing. We also had our very first workshop this year, which is another one of Dude's <laughs> grand ideas that he wanted me to execute. And um, it probably, we probably talked about it for about a year. <laughs> yeah, we had many different iterations of what the workshop would look like. And I think in the end, um, it actually worked out really well. The, the workshop concept kind of kind of hit me. And we talked about it. We had spirited discussions <laughs> uh, about it. And it, it almost, it almost was shelved completely. Until a friend of ours, or friends of ours that own the Mighty Oak Cafe, um, suggested that we use the cafe for just a trial and see how a workshop would work out for us. And because of their encouragement and support, uh, we organized just a small little workshop in their cafe where uh, we shared a meal together with those who came and they learned a thing or two about the Instant Pot. I think with our channel, um, you know, the message of simple, ordinary, and joyful, I think also comes with connecting with others. It shows in the comments that you all leave for us, um, that you share a little bit of your life with me and that I can respond and that we can get to know each other online and there are faithful subscribers out there who almost comment on every single video and I read every single comment. I may not have the time to respond to every single one, but I do read them and 
Uh, I am just so encouraged by how our videos have either inspired people or have changed the way they do things in their own lives and that just amazes me so much. I'm just so in awe that my little videos can touch the lives of others in a positive way. One of the things that uh, surprised us this year is how people can be so, how should I put it, passionate about their opinions about food. <laughs> well, food and shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So our most controversial um, videos that we have on our channel is the Costco trap. It's $9.99 per kilo because it's seasoned, but you can just get the side ribs on their own without the seasoning for $6.99 a kilo. I hate the word and you don't even know what's in it. The best prime rib. And I've preheated my oven to 375. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. This is gross. And Tefal versus Philips air fryers. They're brown. They're a different color. Okay, so this is the air fryer. Air fryer, 15 minutes, and it was at 350 degrees. Okay. 15 minutes. The Tefal is 400, so just saying. Those are, we have the most polarizing comments on those videos mm -hmm. and it's just it just I'm just shocked I'm just shocked at how um, yeah passionate people are about their particular opinion about those things another interesting thing that happened this year was one of our videos going kind of semi-viral and um, this was the Costco trap video and it was <laughs> I know, it led to different things. Um, it led to a lot more negative comments in which, seriously, if I didn't have a thick skin and if I didn't just not let these comments bother me, there's no way that we could do this. And that was our first foray into the haters of YouTube. But you know what, it also, I found that people that generally don't watch me on YouTube or people that don't know me that well in real life don't know that I have a YouTube channel. And and so after this Costco video went a little bit viral, they all of a sudden stopped me. They're like, hey, I saw you on YouTube. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's what I do. And they're like, what? So it was really interesting that way. And this Costco video also led to an interview with Money Magazine, which was also very interesting. They had contacted me about um, money saving tips at Costco. So if you ever get a chance to check out the Money Magazine article, you should do that. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it's called. Mm, well, like, we'll, we'll link it yeah. below in the description. Right. I'm not sure if it's because of this Costco video that was recommended to the local Vancouverites or if it's just our numbers are inching towards 70,000 subscribers. I'm not sure, which is amazing in itself. Um, but we do get stopped a little bit more on the streets. I love your recipes and because I just bought the Instant Pot and your recipes are awesome. Oh, yeah, you guys are doing you. a great job. <laughs> yeah, no, I really love your show. Oh, you guys are doing a so great much. job. It's so nice that people just take the time and stop and say hello. Mm -hmm. And um, I really appreciate that. So if you ever see me on the street, just don't feel odd. I know mm -hmm. people sometimes say, oh, I didn't want to bother you. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't know what to say. Just say hello. Like, <laughs> please do. Yeah. And we really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. We also launched a series called Milestones this year. We only have a few episodes up right now, but it was just an opportunity for us to share the different milestones in our lives that have shaped us into the people that we are today. And we have received so many, so many uh, encouraging comments on these videos that has just been, I'm just so incredibly touched that people would be willing to share a part of their lives with us and to know that 
you know, our struggles that some struggles that we go through, people can relate to and they've shared their struggles with us as well. And that we can, yeah, just be an encouragement to each other. And I think that has just been eye opening this year. We talked a lot about the negative comments we received this year, but overwhelmingly we have so many more encouraging comments, so many more supportive and people that randomly just send me a private message um, to encourage us to keep going. Like there are days when we're just like, oh my goodness, what are we doing? Like, do we really Why, why do we bother doing this? Yeah. <laughs> why do we bother? Um, you know, it doesn't make us very much money. We're, you know, a lot of times we're struggling financially as well. And, but every month, you know, we get enough to pay the bills. And that to me is amazing that we can uh, do what we love and love what we do. And it's just... Right? I mean, yeah. how, how many people get the opportunity to do what they're passionate about? And how many people even get clarity on what they're passionate about? Well, this year, dude is hashtag racing to 50. Wait a minute, we didn't <laughs> talk about this. <laughs> And no, we have talked about it, you and I. Oh, but upon this video, oh my Atlanta. Okay, anyways. <laughs> anyways, most YouTubers are much younger than us. And, and even for us, at the age that we are at, to take a risk. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna be 50 next month. Just the <laughs> craziness of hitting that, that number is that, uh, you know, it really is a state of mind. And doing what we're doing, uh, it just it energizes me personally that we get to do this. Not that we have to, not that we're aiming to dominate YouTube or make a lot of money, but the fact that we can have a positive effect on the world, people out there, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, awesome. And I don't know. I don't know. Fifty. I think it's uh, it's just just the start. What is it? Fifty? The new thirty? Yeah, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> it's definitely not the end. Just the beginning. And yes. So for 2019, more workshops. Mm -hmm. More connection. Another cookbook. Deeper relationships. Did yeah. you just commit me to another cookbook? Yes, you heard it here, folks. In 2019, our hope for you is not only to live a life that is simple, ordinary, and joyful, but also that you would try new things, that you would keep learning, and that you would take risks. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. We love you. <laughs>